kata shime was created by uh, Hashi Cruz and passed down to me through one of his senior instructors uh, in Panama, one of his most outstanding students, Rick Johns, taught it to me about um, 40, 45 years ago, roughly. So I've been doing this now for 48 next month. It was a requirement for black belt. All black belts needed to know it. And so I've maintained that tradition at our dojo, at the Benicia Dojo, that all black belts, for you to advance a black belt, you need to know Shime. Um, at some point, we'll make that a standard for the ISCA across the board. Um, the story that he told me was, and I don't have the full story, was that uh, a lady friend of him, of his in Japan, uh, gave him that name, and mm. so he created this kata, and he called it that. Uh, if you know Hanshi like I do, then, you know, um, <laughs> that's why. Um, so I, I don't know for sure. We did some research and we found that there are several translations for the word shime, uh, mission, fate, as in F-A-T-E, destiny. Those are some of the translations that we found. I can't find anything in any of his writings that speak to exactly what it means. I'll continue to research that. We'll ask his son because uh, son Marcus may have some insight mm -hmm. on that. Everybody wants a meaning for something. Mm -hmm. It means, uh, to me, like I said, I've been doing this kata now for 40, almost 45 years. And uh, it, it's something that's unique to the ISCA and anyone who has trained with Hanshi Kurs. Um, nobody else has this, and we're, we're willing to share it. Is it common for senseis to create down kata? Sometimes. But you gotta realize Hanshi Kurs was not a common guy. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you know, he had a lot of wisdom. And in this short kata, there is a lot going on. Uh, when we study the bunkai, you see that there's a lot in this kata that um, help, helps you with body dynamics and shifting, body shifting, things like that. Real, real. It's challenging to get right. It's easy to just learn the moves, external moves, but when you, you get the internal moves and you start to show what they mean, and it's a totally different feel when doing the kata. You love to see it individually. He would get excited when he saw anybody doing his kata because it, it, it's his thing. But he loved it when he saw us do it as a group. And there's a certain way of having, if you have like four people, there are you know, corners from each other. If you have 10 people, you can have them all in this big circle. And some, one time, I remember you had like maybe 20 of us and you had two circles, an outer ring and an inner ring. And we all did it together. The challenge there is it's a linear kata and you have people around you maybe moving at different angles and you have to know where your angle is mm -hmm. and not move on theirs so that you end up the goal is to end up everybody ending up in a, that starting position within inches of their. Uh, I'd have to figure that. Mm -hmm. I'd have to get a group of people, and it's beautiful if you can fill it from the top down and then see people moving in and out, in and out. It's just so beautiful. There's an ebb and flow, ebb and flow to, to the it. kata. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm.